Hey friends, welcome back to We Do It Outdoors. And today I'm going to show you how that little survival kit can come in handy and also how to make a Dakota fire pit. All right, so what I have here is called a Dakota fire pit. Now all you have to do is you dig two holes. Here's a hole and here's a hole. Now I don't have it very deep. Um, it doesn't really need to be very deep. It's probably, oh, probably about eight inches deep. Now what I did in the middle here is I dug the hole all the way through so it goes over to the other side. Now this is the side um, mainly for cooking and what that'll do is when the fire starts getting really hot, uh, as you all know, heat rises and it's gonna suck air from this side and it's gonna act like a jet and it's just gonna keep pumping the, you know, the fresh air in and it's gonna make it burn really hot and it's gonna make it burn really efficient. Um, it's in such a tight area that this is about all the fuel that you're gonna need and then what's inside there. Um, I got some sticks already in there, a little bit of uh, some of this, you know, dead straw and hay and um, some leaves packed down in there. To I got it all shoved right down here in the middle. Now <clears throat> I've got my little survival kit here. Now you don't want to use the cotton balls or the uh, the alcohol swabs if you already have um, some really good dry material. Uh, you only want to use those cotton balls or the alcohol at an absolute last resort. Um, it hasn't rained in about a week, so everything's nice and dry. And uh, it's in the middle of the afternoon, so there's no dew on the grass or anything. So just remember, use the stuff in here as an absolute last resort. But I will use the matches in here because um, that's all that I brought with me. All right, I am going to open up my little kit here. Grab my container with the, uh, the matches. Sit this off to the side. <clears throat> Grab the little striker here. Well, it's kind of windy, so hopefully uh, I don't have to use too many of these because in a survival situation, every one of these counts. All right, it's taken off really good. Just gonna keep adding some leaves and get it going really good, get it going really, uh, really hot. Now I've got this container here. I'm going to attempt to boil some water. Uh, we're going to see how long it takes or if it'll even, uh, you know, burn hot enough to boil the water. <clears throat> now that, that jet isn't going to work until it starts getting really, really hot. All right, there it's starting to burn really good. Um, I'm going to let that burn down a little bit and uh, get a nice good bed of coals in there and then I'm gonna set the uh, container of water in there and uh, we'll see how long it takes to boil it. All right guys, I uh, got it burning down, had a nice bed of coals down there. Went ahead and stuck that on 
and it's been on for about five minutes. It's, I mean, there's a lot of smoke, obviously, but uh, there is steam coming out. I don't know. You can hear it starting to bubble. I mean, you can't really see down in there real well, but <clears throat> it's starting to work. Now, um, another good thing about these Dakota fire pits is you can leave them for, you know, as long as you need it, but say that you're trying to keep a low profile, um, but you need to cook up something real quick, or there it goes, it's really starting to steam now. Um, you can see it coming out, coming out of it. But, uh, so you need to cook something up real quick, or, you know, boil up some water. Um, it's low impact. So, say you are hiding from somebody, and uh, like I said, you're trying to keep a low profile, you keep that mound of dirt right there, and you can kick it right on top of it, and it'll put it out, and it'd be like, you know, there wasn't even a fire here, and that's also another way, like if you're camping or whatever, um, you know, the, the best way to put out a fire is to bury it anyway so you just keep that dirt mounted there and uh you know all you got to do is just you know shove it over with your boot and um uh, you're done that's it no grabbing buckets of water dumping on it you don't have to pile up a bunch of rocks or anything around it and uh yeah it's really it's it's boiling now it's been let me look at my clock here <clears throat> Started it at 20 after 3 and it is 328. So, about well, 8 minutes is what that took to start boiling. So, that's not too bad. And, uh, I don't know, it's just a, it's a good little thing to know. Um, like I said, if you're camping and you don't want to make a big fire, uh, you know, if it's already warm outside, so you're not needing a fire to keep warm, um, but you need it to cook on, you know, you could cook hot dogs on that, or um, if you had any kind of canned food, you know, you could pile all the wood up in there, like like I've got that, just kind of set it in there, uh, pop the top a little bit so it doesn't build up pressure, and there you go. So... All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that little trick there. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.